Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down the 5 Jerry Kutsia best knockouts. Number 5. Jerry Kutsia vs Stan Ward. On September 11, 1982 at Sands Atlantic City, New Jersey, Kutsia beat Stan Ward by TKO at 209 in round 2 of 10. Number 4. Jerry Kutsia vs. Leroy Caldwell. On October 31, 1981 at Ellis Park Stadium Johannesburg, South Africa, Kutsia beat Leroy Caldwell by knockout at 237 in round 5 of 10. <laughs> Want Caldwell had gesagt that Gerry net for a good rechter beschikt. Gerry Coutier. Een and a half minute for in the first round. In the round number one. Van Jiri Karel, Leroy Caldwell. Rechter hand, the Serum. Stay door in the second round. Also 15 seconds as well, and the fifth. The move from the stadium. And then Gerry. And the question is, can Gerry on pace keep that still? That is a half minute work. The second is coming in the round. Number 3. Jerry Kutsia vs. Mike Kronicki. On April 19, 1980 at Rand Stadium, Johannesburg, South Africa, Kutsia beat Mike Kronicki by knockout at 143 in round 1 of 10. Big opportunity for him. He has 28 years when he prepared for his title fight against Harry Kutsia in Pretoria in Cape Town last December. Six foot four and a half. He has a reach advantage, 22 pounds, has a weight advantage. See, a well-schooled boxer, very studied, however, not terribly creative in the ring. Take punishment. Down Ohio today. Kutsia, down goes Koranicki, an overhand right, an overhand right hand, and that's it. Mike Koranicki. Number two. Jerry Kutsia vs. Leon Spinks. On June 24, 1979 at Le Chapiteau de l'Espace, Font Vie Monaco, Kutsia beat Leon Spinks by TKO at 2.03 in round 1 of 12. And right back comes Kutsia, another good right hand. 
Jerry Katsia vs. Michael Dokes. On September 23, 1983 at Coliseum, Richfield, Ohio, Kotsia beat defending WBA heavyweight title Michael Dokes by knockout at 2.08 in round 10 of 15. The problem for Michael Dokes is just the, the slight difference in he goes left hook to the body, left hook to the head. A good right hand and Dokes is down. He started the first round and uh, I'm looking for him to go to the head once in a while. For the moment, the bleeding over the right eye is towards the ropes. Now he's away from the ropes, and this is where Kosia wants him. And another good right hand, and that might have hurt him. And there was your uppercut also, Ray. Now watch the right hand again. A left hand. Now watch the uppercut. Up the Trying to bring the arms down. Oh, the great uppercut there. He's subject to a broken jaw. Right hand to the ribs, right hand. You see what's happening, the mistake. They exchange it both. I only saw one punch in that combination really land. All Jerry Kosia wants to do is let the left jab touch. From the corner of Kosia's eye once more, but it is alongside the eye, and it does not really bled in his eye. And now we see him body shots again. He's wobbly now. He's wobbly. His legs are buckling. And there's a solid right hand by Kosia. 15 seconds remaining in this round, and Kosia's on it. Dokes is out on his feet, but may get through the round. I doubt it very seriously. And he's down. He cannot be saved by the bell. It's over, and we have a new WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.